Okay, here we have 11.4 properties of logarithms. And so there are four basic properties of logarithms. And these are, I'm sorry, not four, three of them. And these are the main three. So we have that log base of an argument plus log with the same base of another argument is equal to the log with the base, the common base they have with this argument multiplied by that argument. And the idea is, is when you multiply two expressions that have the same base, you always add their exponents, right? So similarly here, when you divide two expressions with the same base, you end up subtracting their exponents. And furthermore, you end up subtracting the top exponent minus the bottom guy's exponent. Remember, logarithms are exponents, right? Um, similarly, for... Um, you have an exponent raised to an exponent, you end up multiplying those exponents together, right? So that's where the development of these uh, logarithm properties came from, okay? And so what they want us to do is they want us to fill in the blanks using these properties. So you notice that you have log base eight of an exponent, or I'm sorry, log base eight of argument three plus log base eight argument seven. According to this rule, if I'm adding two logs together, I need to multiply their arguments. So if I take three argument times the seven argument, this should be an argument of 21. Similarly, when you have um, log base two of an argument minus log base two of another argument, the um, arguments should end up getting divided over here. So this argument minus this argument means the top, the first one divided by the bottom one. So since I already know that the nine is on the top and the nine is in the front and the five is at the bottom, then it's a five that goes inside of this um, expression and in the box in order to make that true. Same thing here. Um, well, no. In order for me to figure out what exponent this had, I will have to be able to write this as two to some power. Now we already know that this is um, a fraction, so we know the exponent's gonna be negative, and two cubed gives me eight. So I believe that one eighth is two raised to the negative three exponent. And it is, two to the negative three equals eight. And so then the rule is, is that this exponent will come to the front and end up being multiplied by this expression. Now notice they already have this expression, they just wanted to know what was the exponent that came down. And that's what would go inside that box. Now the last one is the reverse. So they have the multiple in the front, they want you to pull it back up to the exponent and so then this becomes log three to the third, which means you end up with, um, and actually it's like this, it's log to the fifth, and then it has a box here, and three to the third is 27. And so then you would put the answer in there. So it could go in either directions. Uh, it could also go in either direction for these two. You may see one that says, um, kind of something like this, right? Uh, this one did go in both directions. So it had the plus and had you multiply them, or it could already have the multiplication here and then you have to figure out what the two guys are. So it does go in both ways. Make sure that you're able to use these properties in both directions.